everyone welcome back to a new video this video was recorded well the first part of this video was recorded about six weeks ago <laughs> i'm pretty sure this glitter is called grape soda i think that's the name of it it'll be down the bottom anyway from nail sugar these are colors from team gorgeous but i don't know the names of them and I've got Perfect Blush as my nail bed colour from Nao Nails. I'm also using Mega White from Nao Nails as well um, when we do a marble nail. So I'm going to use the Perfect Blush to create my nail bed. Um, we're going to do a reverse French here. I like to... Um, oh, I've totally forgotten what I was going to say. Oh yeah, no, no. I like to... If I'm doing a long nail, I do find that I like to... I prefer to do a um an elongated like nail bed like a like an exaggerated nail bed because i just think it looks more aesthetically pleasing than like a what you would call a natural natural nail bed you know on a especially on a long nail like that i don't know it's just me um you can obviously do the nail bed as short or as like elongated as you want um, I'm having to do this in a few beads because I can't pick up a big bead with my... I'm using here my Crystal Nails Extreme Acrylic Brush and I can't pick up a big bead with this. So I'm going to do it in a few beads. I'm just going to put another bead over the top just to... I'm going to file it but I'm just going to put another bead over the top just to neaten it all out, smooth it all out and make it look a bit nicer. Even though I'm going to file some of it anyway. Um... And then I will leave that to set. So I'm going to do two nails like this. So I'm going to take the other one and place it next to this one. And then I'm going to place the bead at the bottom first. So that I don't... I, I want to make the... I have been known to uh, make the nail beds different lengths. <laughs> so I, that's why I put that next to it. And then I'm just going to do exactly the same as what I've done on the last nail. But I'm not going to show you me doing all of this. Because we have done it already. So the next nail, I'm going to put some of that purpley acrylic at the cuticle area and just blend it down. And then I'm going to start to create a marble. So I'm going to pick up a bead of the purple, a bead of the raspberry colour and a bead of white. And I'm going to marble them together. So I'm going to run the tip of my brush through them and I'm going to move the brush up to the right and then back down to the left. I'm going to add some more beads and we're going to do exactly the same thing and then we're basically going to do this all the way down the nail just making sure that we use the different colours like for instance I've put purple raspberry white um, but at the top I would have put purple white raspberry do you see what I mean you just have to alternate beads as you go down and if you're not happy with a certain area, you can add some, add some more colour, um, add a different a coloured acrylic bead to that part. I'm just going to put a little bit more purple at the cuticle area, um, just to intensify that colour. But just be aware that on a real person, you might have to be, take a little bit more care. <laughs> um, so that is that. I'm not going to put any um, glitter on it, but I do cap it in clear because when we come to file it we don't want to file through the marble design that we've created so this now is going to be a full nail of that purple acrylic so i'm just gonna work my way all the way down this nail there we go and then i'm just going to smooth it out a little bit just to neaten it up a tad then I'm going to take that grape soda glitter from Nail Sugar. By the way, if you do want to get 10% off any glitter from Nail Sugar, you can use code NATMUG10, all in caps, and you'll save yourself 10%. Um, oh, by the way, the Mylar flakes, the Micro Mylar, will be back in stock this evening. So keep your eyes peeled for the Micro Mylar because they are all back in stock this evening. Um, I will put a little post up actually on the community bit on, on YouTube in a minute if I remember um, because I've had a few people asking me about the Micromyler and it is amazing. Oh, so is this glitter. <gasps> this is grape soda. You can buy this at the same time as you buy the Micromyler. Micro um, 
Um, the next nail, I am going to do a full nail of this pretty strawberry raspberry colour with shimmer in it. Don't know what it's called. I can't think for the life of me what it's called. But it's bloody gorgeous. So work the colour all the way down the nail. Don't forget to clean your brush off every now and then. I am not doing that very well. This this colour was really pigmented and you could almost use it as like a paint. <laughs> Just like paint the the you know the colour on it. It's really nice. Um, then I'm going to put some more of that grape soda at the cuticle area and I'm going to blend it down. So we're going to have like a little fade going on. But obviously from the cuticle area to about halfway down, I like to add loads of glitter on. Because I love nail sugars glitters, I cannot tell you. Oh. Karen is working on the Christmas glitters and the Halloween glitters. Mm, so excited. So I'm going to go back to these nails and I'm just going to file around the smile line. You will see my nails are slightly different in a minute when we come to top coat because I, top, I only top coated them yesterday. <laughs> so I'm going to take some of the... Oh yeah, dust off any excess dust. I'm going to take small beads and we're going to do... This one's going to be a marble. So we're going to take each of the three colours that we're using. Is white a colour? I don't know. And we're just going to marble it around the free edge. Around that small line and down the free edge. So for this bit, I would suggest just using little beads because... You know, especially around that around the side walls, just use tiny beads, tiny, tiny beads. And then obviously as you go down, you can make them a little bit bigger because you don't have to be as neat because, you know, well, I mean, do be neat, but. And this time I'm kind of going up at the left and working down to the right. It was a little bit awkward because I'm right handed, so it's easier for me to do it the other way. But I just thought I'd be a little bit different. Um... Yeah, so I had to kind of turn the turn the, the tip. <laughs> and one little last little bit at the bottom. And then that is gonna be that nail. I will cap the free edge in clear as well before I file. This nail, I can't remember what I do. Okay, so that raspberry red around the smile line do i do it all the way down yes i think i do i love that color isn't that pretty it's like a pinky red that would be a nice christmas color oh yeah okay and then the creams the cream soda then the grape soda is going to go around the smile line and we're going to fade that down a little bit i do remember now there we go. So I'm going to cap all these. I'm going to file and buff them. See, I, oh no, so that's them before I've cap before I fold and buffed. No, it's not. That is them fold and buffed. Sorry. Hello again. <laughs> okay, so we're going to top coat. It's top coat time. Oh my God, I nearly missed this top coat time. Okay, um, I think I'm using Premier Gel's High Shine Non Wipe Top Coat. I literally put way too much on. I went a little bit mad with the old top coat. I thought, I know, I'll put some on and I'll leave it to settle. And in a minute, right, before I do the close-ups, you can see, I think it's on this one, on this particular nail, there's a big lump of top coat that has settled on at the top on the, on the right-hand side of the nail. So I had to file it and top coat it again. <laughs> I don't know why I went so mad with the top coat. Isn't that nail pretty? I really like this nail as well and I really like um, the purple nail with the glitter swoosh. I do love my marbles now. I love me a marble nail. Victoria Derbyshire or Derbyshire, I don't know how you say it, she does the most amazing marble nails and Kay Richardson does the most amazing colour block nails. They're like marble goals and colour block goals. Right there they are. I quite like this one too. 
I really, really like this glitter. This glitter is going to be amazing for autumn or fall. If you're in the States, it's fall, isn't it? Or do they say fall in Australia? Do they even have seasons in Australia? I don't know why I always imagine it to be sunny all the time in Australia. That's probably a stupid question. They probably do. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love that so much. So I'm going to pop these in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. Look out for the big lump of top coat. Look, can you see it? <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, I fold it and buffed it and polished it again. Whatever the word is. Top coated it again. This is the close up. I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do subscribe or um, you will end up with a wart on your nose. I don't think you really will, but I'm just trying to make you subscribe. And... <laughs> I will see you lovely lot tomorrow. Oh my gosh, Friday already. It's coming around really quick. Have a great Thursday. Bye.